Tony Warrell, you're in tune to 88.5 WVOF in Fairfield, Connecticut. We are broadcasting live, and thanks to Casey, who is the multimedia extraordinaire for hooking us up with the television uh, hookup. You can watch us on the campus network. I believe it's channel 105. And uh, on the Internet, we are at WVOF.org. And it's a true honor to have in the studio all the way from New Haven. We've been playing their CD. It's a great CD, Pursuit of the Groove, which is just a great blend of funk, R&B, a little hip-hop and blues in there. Sister Funk, yeah. all the way. Yeah. All the way from New Haven, right? Yeah, New all, Haven. The way. all the way. All 20 minutes. So I'm, I'm going to introduce everybody, and I'm going to go first introduce Tina, who is uh, the saxophonist and vocalist with the group. You know, I'm going to ask the band, they preempt the microphones pretty uh, low, so... Um, you can either pull the microphone closer to you and speak either loud or close to the mic so I can get a good level off of, off of everybody. Come here, Vange. I'll let you share okay. my mic. <laughs> this doesn't happen often, though. Okay. <laughs> lap, we, we've got five ladies here and uh, three mics, so we're going to we'll try to do our best right here. So we introduce Tina on vocals and saxophone. How are you doing, okay, Tina? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank and you so much for having us. Oh, thanks. And th thanks for the music. And also Denise, keyboardist and singer for the group. Hey, Fairfield University. This is Denise Troy from Sister Funk, the www.sisterfunk.com. <laughs> and we have the website all pulled up and looking, and we'll talk about some of the upcoming shows. And actually, I just want to make a very, very quick comment. Everybody here in the band, I was putting lipstick on before we entered into the radio station. And they said, this is radio. They're not going to be seen. <laughs> and guess what? We're on the webcam. So, That's yes, right. we are Everybody. going to be seen. And we look yeah. great. We really That's do. That's true. We spent yeah. hours getting ready for That's this. That's right. Yeah. We can even look greater. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> greater. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we also now introduce the guitarist and vocalist for the group, Vance. And how you doing? Hi, I'm Vange Durst. Oh. It's, uh, it's great to be here, and uh, thanks for having us on. Now, let me ask you, you have the acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. uh, changing from electric to acoustic. Uh, what's the difference for pre preparation for that? Well, with this band, I play mainly electric because they like um, a lot of leads. Mm -hmm. These girls... Um, <laughs> Until her fingers bleed. We did a gig in Killington the other night, and it was a long, long gig, five sets. So every time they didn't know which song was coming up next... They're like, Vange, solo. <laughs> so there you go. So it's kind of hard to do that on acoustic mm -hmm. um, all night long because the strings are heavier and it's harder to get uh, the bends and stuff. So, But I love playing acoustic guitar and I, as much as possible with uh, Sister Funk. Sometimes we do acoustic shows and they're great. Yeah. Okay. You mm -hmm. can hear all the vocals. Yep. The yeah, that's nice. Yep. Okay, now we're going to move along to the drummer and percussionist, Amy Blaze. How you hey, doing, Amy? Hey, what's up? Great to have you here. Thank you. And uh, how about how about drummers? You, you know, who's your fave? Who's my, who's my my who, who you still listen to uh, on a regular basis? I would have to say that my my drummers uh, my drummers of choice, so to speak, would be um, Elvin Jones. Definitely played with Coltrane um, mm. for you know as old school straight ahead. Um, for the for the rock feel, you, Nigel Olson played with Elton for years yeah. and years. Um, but you know, modern stuff, contemporary fusion and stuff. Vinny Caliuta, um, you mm. know th those those cats. Omar Akin, mm. definitely. So you have great taste in drummers, right? Thank yeah. you. Yes. And of course, Amy Blaze. Yeah. Amy Blaze. Of course, of course <laughs> I'm my own influence. <laughs> right, <that's laughs> yes. Yeah. Number one. And uh, last but certainly not least, we uh, bring to the microphone Wendy on bass and vocals, has the six-string bass. And That's right. Yeah, and we were just uh, talking about funk music and I'm zap. I'm very and glad to yeah. be here and hearing such good music on this yeah. station. It's excellent. Well, you know, on the upper room here, we support local music as much yeah. as possible. Um, mm -hmm. And it's great to have a band playing music like you have for, for quite a while. How did the band get together? Who wants to answer ahead, that? Okay, yeah. that's a long question. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it depends on who you, the story changes, depending okay. on yeah, who you ask. Changes a little <laughs> who can I trust the most? Tina. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, basically, the band started, um, Denise and uh, Amy and myself were in a band prior to Sister Funk, and it was a it was a good band, a rock band. We're having a good time. But we saw an ad in the paper. A New York producer was looking to put together an all-female act to go to Philly. 
Mm -hmm. And Janice and I decided we'd audition for it. We asked Amy if she wanted to audition for it, but she's like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So we went without Amy, and um, of course we we were picked. And when we uh, went to the first rehearsal, there was Miss Vange on guitar and Wendy on bass, and that's how we met those two. And wait, when I do need to stipulate, I say something about Wendy. Wendy did not really. I mean, she was asked by the late Vicky Sue Robinson to show up at this audition. Um, who was the original? From New Jersey, right? Yeah, she was yeah. the original singer from. The writer well, for Turn the Beat Around. Right. Mm-hmm. She did Turn the Beat Around. And Wendy used to tour with her when that the CD was hot. It was number one on the charts, and she was flying all over the world. Limousine. <laughs> <laughs> so. so there we, the four of us were, and there was um, the lead singer for that group. Mm-hmm. Um, and bottom line, basically every time the lead singer went to go do something, we would start jamming, and we just clicked so beautifully. And after we did the show in Philly, the four of us decided to start a band, um, and we were using that drummer at the time, but, you know, it just wasn't the same without Miss Amy Blaze. Miss so. Mapine! Mapine! So we, we, we got her to cross over to this side, and here we are. This is it. Three and a half years later. <laughs> <laughs> it's so 99. That's good. I like where, where is everybody from originally? I know you're primarily based out of New Haven? We're band? based out of New Haven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were all over the... W- United States and even the world. The bands used to. Yeah, live I played. In I lived in England for um, seven years, and I was in some bands over there mm-hmm. and uh, worked with some people over there. And then I came. I was in New York for a while and uh, been in Connecticut for a number of years. And it's, it's been great. I really enjoy living up here. How about everybody else? Um, I be, I grew up in Westport and just recently moved to uh, the New Haven area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I grew up in Jersey and uh, migrated to New York City. Cafe Wa, and then I went up to Connecticut, and right. I got kind of stuck in the Connecticut vortex, and I'm trying to go to the equator now. Yeah, we're all going to Guam. We're That's our next right. stop. <laughs> yeah, I've been in the in the Connecticut vortex too, but right. I did live in Boston for a period of you know okay. four or five years, and I went to Berkeley up there, so it was kind of a cool thing. And I'm the only Southern Belle of the bunch. I was born in Texas, but yeehaw! <laughs> I was only there for a year, so it really right. doesn't count. So Sister Funk is in the studio right now, and they are going to be performing live here, an acoustic set. I'm really looking forward to having that. We are broadcasting live on the Internet, WVOF.org, and I believe they have the uh, TV camera streaming there. It's also on the campus TV network. So uh, we we have a seven-second delay, I'm told, so I don't know. It's going to look a little funny. Who knows? You know, the sound and, and the pictures, but, you know, it should be coming through pretty right, good. Denise, you are looking fabulous. Oh, thank you. My girl. Mm, honey. And uh, you can give us a call at 254-4111. Let's see. How about something off the record that you're not going to play today so we don't overlap? Um, um, what do you want to do? What do you want to go with? I'll, I'll, I'll play up? some. How about up? Yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A little funky, yeah. funky groove. A little funky groove. number. Funk and and it's great to have real funk in, in this area. Oh, yeah, yeah. De- desperate, de- de- desperate, <laughs> desperate need of that in uh, Fairfield County and yeah. New Haven County. So That's great cool. that Sister Funk is doing their part. This is WV. Amazing that uh, we can get such a sound and the band sound and that great. It all goes up to Sister Funk. All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. talented musicians. Hey Joe, we're thinking about giving away some CDs. Okay. Stuff all right, that'd be cool. Yeah. We can open up the phone lines if people want to call in. To the radio station here, our phone lines 254-4111, 254-4111. And uh, if you're on campus in your office or in your dormitory, 4111. If you're up in the cafeteria listening, feel free to give us a call, 4111. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Sister Funk has some free CDs to give away, and also they'll be performing uh, some more music. But uh, let's see. I really dig this song a lot off the record. Holding Out. Oh, yeah. 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 Are, are you going to play that uh, tonight? Do we could do the, oh, the CD version of that one. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I have totally. the CD. I have yeah. it all queued up. So. All right, yeah, play it up. Take a little break and uh, get situated here and come back and talk with Sister Funk here on WVOF. Hey, another great one from Sister Funk. And let me turn the microphones on. And They've been uh, gracious enough to come down to the WVOF studios. And you've been gracious enough to have us, Joe. Thank you oh, so wanted to have you on and, of course, playing all different cuts from the, the CD. And uh, we've got a lot of things to talk yeah. about from Sister Funk. I'll reintroduce the band, and we'll start with Wendy on bass there. We'll go this, 
this side and Wendy on bass and vocals as well. The six string guitar, um, any preference for that particular guitar that you have? Uh, and wh which actually, guitar for our music uh, players out there? All right, well, this is an Ibanez six string. It's an SR series, and um, I'd been always played a four string for years. And I decided I wanted to go to a five string because I wanted to have that low B for funk and everything. And um, I, I went in the music store, I found this six string, which I was not looking for, and I played it, and the neck was just so nice that I fell in love with it. But then, that was actually a different guitar. That was a black one I had that mm -hmm. was supposedly signed by the guy from Primus. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I had that, and I used that for a while, and I decided i got to have another one, a backup. Right. <laughs> so I bought this one. <laughs> she this never like breaks a string. We've never no, seen her break no, one. So I got this, like and this is my new, brand new red one. So, 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 oh, uh, so much. So, so who's the member in the band that when you go to a... a music gear store you have to drag out kicking and screaming so they want to stay uh, that'd, yeah. that'd be yeah. amy no, oh that's amy blaze yeah. right the rest of the girls it's the mall oh okay yeah. the rest yeah. of us like clothes shop any town right. we go to that's where the minute they wake up in the hotel they're like where's the mall it's it's okay. either it's either dynamic percussion or or forever 21 <laughs> or, you know you have to you have to drag me out <laughs> kicking and i don't want to yeah. go <laughs> Our goal is to go into every mall in every state of the United States yeah. of America. Right. And we we're close. We're we close. went to that Mall of America mall of in America. Minneapolis. Oh, you went out to Minneapolis? Yeah. yeah. We Fabulous. had a layover. No. Yeah, it we was a layover. It was yeah. a layover, layover mistake. They lost our On the way to Albuquerque. But we did get to see the Mall of America. Yeah. So that was exciting. Fabulous. It'd be nice if you can make a Midwest tour out there, right? Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. yeah. So how, how's the band um, when they tour together? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, boy. Well, we're okay. five women. <laughs> right? As long as um, we're taking our happy pills. Right. And um, <laughs> a lot of ibuprofen. Yeah. Right. And um, let's see. And have our vent sessions. We do pretty well. Yeah. We've really come a long okay. way yeah. in the time we've been together. We get along really well. We talk, to, we talk about things with each other. And, um, that you just wouldn't believe. Yeah. yeah. And it's great because we now know um, it's easier to express our needs because it's hard when you're five writers. Uh, five, you know, very um, like Creative. almost front kind of people to get together. You have to be very patient and also be willing to give up time for another person's creative energy. So Vance has taught has taught us all how to how to nurture. nurture. Right. We right. have a nurture night now. A nurture night. The end of nurturing. Because I said if we don't start nurturing in this band, right, I'm right. going to kill myself. <laughs> I'm kill you too. No, you don't want to do that. No. No. But uh, okay, we're going to also reintroduce Amy Blaze, drummer and percussionist. And uh, yeah. so your background it sounds like a lot of jazz fusion. Yeah, yeah. actually. Um, and Berkeley, right? Yeah, yeah I, my training is really um, kind of a straight ahead jazz, Latin, um, different styles, basically. Mm -hmm. All different idioms. So, And that's what I really like doing. I, I like playing different styles. I like keeping it eclectic and fresh. So and you'll hear yeah, that fused into right, my right. playing, too. Mm -hmm. So. Now we move along to Denise, who is keyboardist and vocalist as well. How, how about your, your upbringing musically? Let me Ooh. ask you the first concert you ever went to. First concert was Twisted Sister and, let's see, who was the terrible band that opened? <laughs> TNT. I, oh, they were horrible. But um, right. Twisted Sister and then it was Billy Idol and then okay. Madonna. Those and were Madonna. my first three concerts. Okay. <laughs> That's a <laughs> wide of range of different music. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, how, about, how about your upbringing playing keyboards uh, uh, well my father was a musician um, and he would hold band practice at the house he did a lot of 50s and 60s stuff mm -hmm. and he played accordion and he decided he wanted to step up to the keyboard put the accordion away and bought me a little Casio keyboard so I would thump and yodel next to him and he would play his songs and I just kind of uh, being around it all the time I got in my first all-girl band at 12 so I've been doing it ever since. Yeah, and yeah. people can go to sisterfunk.com right now, and uh, they can check out the band's bio, all, all the accomplishments and all the accolades that they've received over these years. And um, let's see, you didn't bring your keyboard today. You brought your great voice. But uh, how about keyboards? What, what do you usually play oh on stage? I use the Korg Triton. Okay. The Triton. Can't go wrong with that, right? Oh, no. Yeah. All computer, uh, digital, you just one-touch motion. Got to love it. And we should make mention before we, we talk to uh, Vance and also Tina about uh, Sister Funk, their upcoming schedule right here. Wow. We've got some important dates and yes, high do. profile dates that we, yeah, we, we should mention. Yeah, we want everybody to turn out for them. Um, Come some on up, out. Upcoming events. That and, the, and Tina's talking right now. Yes. 
Um, at, on, uh, let's see, February 7th, we'll be at Martini's in Orange. Talk about why they should come out. This Friday. Oh, come on out. We're okay. doing, we're doing, yeah, oh, good, that's this Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, time flies. <laughs> we, we just got back from Vermont. We were up at the Grist Mill playing, which was fabulous, so I'm a little disoriented. But yes, on Friday, come down to Martini's. We're going to be doing a live video shoot there, and we need... A lot of people cheering us on and making noise. Mm-hmm. And uh, being a star in our video. That's right. Is that a restaurant or strictly a club? It's a, it's a, it's a bar. Nice club. bar. Okay. I don't know right. if I'd even call it a club. It's well, a bar. Well, they right. have wings. If they have yeah, wings and beer on tap, it's right. considered right. a club. <laughs> Very nice owner. Okay. okay. That's always nice to have. Well, uh, February 16th, Sunday night, we'll be at the Meow Mix. We're playing at 10 o'clock in New York City. Right. And also February 23rd, we'll be at Toad's. That's a Sunday night in New Haven. If you go on to our website at info, go to info at sisterfunk.com and write us and we'll be glad to send you tickets. And who are we playing with at the toast? We're playing with Antigone Rising. They're a big, and, uh, and I don't know who female else. band from New York City. They're a good band. And we're do also doing a, a, a video, video shoot there. there. Oh, okay. Yeah. all original. And I think they, they uh, webcast some of their, their concerts there, so you can check into that. Mm-hmm. I, I've seen some concerts from Toad's Place, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And let's see, March 8th we'll be at um, Southern Connecticut State University for a Women's Study Conference. And uh, we'll also be March 14th at Cafe 9 in New Haven, so come check us out. Yeah. Or go to the web, sisterfunk.com, if you want to, you know, <coughs> look at what we're doing. Yeah, and check out our, our guest book. Give us a give us a shout That's in right. that guest book. Yeah, it, se- it seems like uh, the people following Sister Funk, pr- pretty solid, uh, you know, crew to follow you around to the shows. Oh, yeah. And yeah. We, we love our fans. Right. Yeah, we, we love our fans. Excellent fans. Excellent fans. Yeah. Right. In fact, I was talking to another DJ last week who called, and I mentioned you were coming on, and he said, yeah, he, he was a big fan of yours. Oh, That's right. Yeah, he, he did local, a guy by the name of Dave. So, yep. Dave. Yeah. Dave, you Dave. rock. We love you, Dave. Right. Yeah. David. <laughs> So, uh, Ooh, how about the best way to to order the CD besides coming to the show? You can get the CD via the website, um, sisterfunk.com. You can also go to cdbaby.com. You can go to the Music Box in Hamden if it's still there. No, not I, there. I think it's they close. There. Cutler's, though. No. And no, also yeah. Cutler's yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. in New Haven. In New Haven, okay. Mm-hmm. And um, Fairfield County, we'd love to see you migrate and do some more shows down here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. How, how, how about the support in, in Connecticut for uh, the original music and independent music? What, what are some of the successes and struggles for, for Sister Funk? Well, we, st- we started out um, doing um, more, more other people's material for a while, um, sort of get our chops up and get, get some original material. Now we've got, um, we've got quite a bit of, uh, you know, we have a night's worth of originals, and so we're we're focusing on that more. We've we've been turning down a lot of um, paying cover gigs mm-hmm. um, because we've made the decision to to go with the originals. And of course, you know, there's less money. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's a dog eat dog world out there when it comes no, to. No, when you make that decision, is it the band all? Five, yeah, we all are, are going all together, it. bouncing no, ideas to off, and we yeah. do uh, we do um, cover gigs right. for money, right. bread and butter. Uh, we're working on our second CD right now, and um, so w- w- you know we played up in Killington, and we'll play some, we'll play around and about for uh, mm-hmm. for some cash to get uh, to pay our uh, you know to pay for right. our originals sure. for the studio time. How, how about when when you work a cover into the repertoire? Well, I know this band has great taste in music, so give us some of the artists. Aretha that Franklin. That you, okay. Aretha. Yeah, I heard you tear that one up. I, I read some some on your. We do. Um, we do some Doobie Brothers Doobies, stuff. Doobies, we do. Uh, we do some Commodores. Oh, girls. We Talk even heads. do a little Sister Sledge. Yeah. Sister Sledge. There we go right here. Doobie, right. The Doobie yeah. Brothers, yeah. Long train. We go right, right from that. Ain't no stopping ain't us no now. Ain't no stopping us now. Oh, okay. <laughs> On to bad girls. <laughs> right. But, freak. but more um, <clears throat> along, back to the our original music, mm-hmm. we are in the studio right now, and we're working on our, our second CD. Are you record? Where are you recording? In New Haven primarily? Yeah. Yeah, in the New Haven region. We're, yeah, recording yeah. Um, in Long, Shell. And Long Hill recording. Long Hill recording. Um, oh. Paul okay. Opalek is great. Uh, he fabulous. He, yeah, he used to play in Blue in the Face. That oh, okay, I've band. seen the band. Yeah. Unbelievable musician. Yep. Right. Right. Great producer. And our video is being done by Jeff Simon out of New Haven, too, oh. who's also okay. just 
it's fabulous. And Paul, if you heard this, we want 30% off our next session. <laughs> you yeah. And you too, Jeff. <laughs> right, right. Jeff, do you hear that? So you have a lot of shows coming up, and uh, spring and summer is probably going to be even more busier than that. Actually, yeah. definitely filling up, traveling right, around right. quite a bit. the calls yep. in now, so if people want to book us, they have to call now. Uh, that's right. Yeah. And, and all the contact information is on the website. Yeah. Right. Yep. And, uh, yep. If you're missing out right now, you can uh, hear the re-airing in its entirety on another network for The Upper Room with Joe Kelly, three days and three nights. And uh, I can't say the exact network, but uh, you can email me at eastwestdj at aol.com, and uh, we'll give you all the information. And uh, let's see. Do you want to get another song off the record? Yeah, let's take another yeah. cut. From Sister Funk. We could do maybe Surrender well, while we're getting ready to... Well, oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, pick, pick any of them. Mm, let's see. How about crazy? Yeah, I like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't want to slight surrender because yeah. that's a great song as well. Oh, no. yeah, crazy. So, uh, why don't we go? Yeah, we'll go with crazy. Great. And get the band right. situated. Right. We're we're brought. <laughs> that's right. Another Prince jam there. But uh, we are broadcasting on the campus television station as well. You can see Sister Funk and yours truly, Joe Kelly here. Mystic Bowie stopping by a little later in the show. And uh, we'll have some more surprises. Sister Funk is here, and Woo! this is from their album, Pursuit of the Groove. Yeah, I, good band. I say a great band. Sister <laughs> Funk right here on WVOF. And uh, we've got live music in the WVOF studios. Awful nice to have that. It's a real treat for me. And uh, we've got the band here on television and uh, on radio and on the web. And uh, Sister Funk, all the way from New Haven, Connecticut, but mm -hmm. that's only 20 minutes away, uh, and a lot of the shows you have upcoming are uh, within driving distance, you know, not too, not too far away. You've got, uh, in fact, Milford this week, Martinis, right? Milford Orange. Milford yeah. Orange, right on the Post Road. Yep. Post Road. And uh, you'll be performing there. Ha you know, here, here you are. Let me uh, give our listeners a little, little encapsulation of what's going on in the studio. We have... Uh, Amy Blaze playing a uh, hand drum. I guess we should talk about the, the particular drum you have right there. Yeah, this is just a um, a, a Remo djembe. Um, most of the time I'm playing a, a pearl kit five piece. So it's a little different, but right. for an acoustic you know, jam session, it, it does the trick. And, and the drummer always gets the tough part when they come in a studio like this, trying to, to blend in and not override everything. But you're doing great. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> Amy is an excellent percussionist yes. and drummer. Yeah. Talented. So the band has been working together and uh, pursuit of the groove. How about uh, listen to your own CD still? Who listens to it all the time and who who has kind of said, I'm ready for the next one? Oh, we are, oh, I am ready. definitely ready, ready for the next one. I'm definitely uh -huh. ready for the next one, but that doesn't prohibit me from listening to myself. I mean the band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> How, how about in the <coughs> songwriting for the next CD? Give it, give us a little preview on what's been going on. Uh, you, you talked about uh, five ladies coming in with different, uh, you know, their own projects and, and writing skills. Go ahead, Tina. No, I was looking at Tina. She never talks. Talk. That's got to be interesting to see. Well, I'll, I'll ask some questions after that, but uh, we primarily all have our own sort of feel and idea of what music should be, um, and then when we come together. Sometimes each one of us will bring a song to the table um, with the concept, and then we as a band will um, contribute to the concept, whereas other times the entire song is written by us and the concept is developed by us as a band. Right. So it depends on the song, it depends on the mood, it depends on how well we're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> and it also, you know, each one of us has our own... Our I don't think it, it, it's like an expertise, but it's that we naturally gravitate towards a genre of songwriting style. Mm -hmm. I tend to be more of the pop, dancey kind of, you know, more pedestrian-y, bubblegum kind of music. So you, you're going you're to write the, uh, the million dollar selling hit for the band? Yeah, I'm really hoping. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tina... I got my money on Denise for that. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Tina writes the more eclectic, uh, weird harmony, rocky kind of. She puts in that. that <laughs> Has she ever described you like that? <laughs> no, I, I think it's really right. straightforward no, rock. No, it's I really not. No, because if okay. you notice that the, <laughs> the interesting vocal contributions on the CD mm -hmm. is Tina's 
opera part or the gospel part and up. Those are all contributions from Tina and her creative input in that area. That's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. She gave you a nice compliment. Tina, yeah. Tina is truly a, a vocal stylist. Yes. She, yeah. she definitely, yeah. but the songwriting, I think, is rock, but her contributions are more eclectic. I think that's yes. maybe... thank you. Mm, thank you, Blaze. In, in you. summation. For clarifying. Yes. Yes. It's that w social work degree that, <laughs> <laughs> that came into play there. W which song off Pursuit of the Groove has changed the most when you play it live from, from the record? Ooh. Crazy. Yeah. I'm holding, holding out. out. Holding out. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's less jazzy feel, holding out. It's more... I don't know. It's just, it's, it's metamorphosed into mm -hmm. something I can't really put my finger on. But I, I would have to say that, um, back to the songwriting, I know that, that Banj tends to write more of the bluesy... Um, Folky, right? folkier, bluesy. Yeah, yeah, more... Uh, is one of you related to uh, the blues guy Taylor? No. You? you are. I'm As in like Butch Taylor? Butch Taylor, yeah. yeah. Wendy's oh, married okay. to Butch. Oh, okay. I am married. Oh. He is the father of my children, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Because I was looking looking on the website and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. Butch oh, yeah. talented, yeah. yeah. He's very talented. Oh, he's okay. Yeah. Right. He co-produced the uh, Pursuit of the Groove. The oh, okay. The first CD, yep. All right. Great so job. Great job, Butch. Yeah, yeah Butch. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so matter of fact, Wendy I got to say, I got to put a shout out to Forrest and Zephyr, my little boy, because I know they're listening. Oh, ah, that's so that's great. <laughs> and uh, our listeners, if they're digging Sister Funk, uh, they've been here roughly since 4.40, 4.45. Um, we've been just having a combination of live performance in the studio and also tracks from Pursuit of the Groove and, of course, talking with Sister Funk. And their website, you can go there and read all about the band. Uh, they've got the gigs, the bios, pictures. You can order the CD. And uh, you're getting a lot of nice you know, write-ups and everything like that. So mm. where, where are some spots, that dream places that you'd, you'd love to play this summer? Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, think, I think we should do like a little cruise tour of all the islands, mm. you know, somewhere yeah. down toward the equator, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. <laughs> you know, we're not asking for much. Right. That's It'd be right. nice to play at the Quick Center. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> that, that would be, be cool. a, That yeah. would be a nearby goal, you know, yeah. that we would like to <laughs> play. So there's the Quick Center's out there, listen, mm -hmm. Sister yes, Funk, yes. definitely. Yeah, you executives out there at the Quick Center. Yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, we'd get, love to play get there. Get the uh, Sister Funk DVD shoot there, like mm. Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. recorded over there. Yeah. That would yeah. be nice. So, um, let's see. We've, we've got time, and uh, you want to. We're going to play more. Surrender. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's play Surrender. Let's play yeah. Surrender. Okay. This is the second uh, track off of Pursuit of the Groove, and you can uh, go to the website right now, sisterfunk.com, and uh, we'll come back and speak with Sister Funk, and they're going to play uh, one last track right here on WVOF in Fairfield. All right, that is Sister Funk. And uh, we're just having a great time talking about music and, and things going on. Tina and Vance are still in the studio. The other ladies just uh, they, they went they to get some out. water. That's okay. That's okay. Th right. This is loose feel radio, and you know, mm -hmm. you know, we're all we're all almost here. Here we are. <coughs> Here we is, all five. Don't time. worry, Joe. Oh, I mean, that's okay. If there <laughs> is I, even a second you're on, they will get back so quick. Oh, oh yeah. no, no, that's okay. <laughs> and again, we want to thank you very much for having no, us on. No, thanks. It's a great show. Thank you. Um, excellent show. And you know you know, our support will be there with with this record. And uh, don't forget, we, we, should, uh, we should go over before we, we get into Sister Funk playing live one more song. Uh, they've got a pretty busy schedule coming up, and we're going to give you the itinerary right now. This Friday, you can go to uh, Martini's, which is uh, located, I believe, in Orange, Connecticut, right over the, the border of Milford, 350 Boston Post Road, 930 to 1 a.m. show. And uh, Don't forget the live video. We're and doing oh, a live yeah, you're doing video two, two video yeah. shoots, right? Yeah. yeah. One We're doing night. one at Martini's and mm. one on um, February 23rd. It's a Sunday night at Toad's. We'll be doing an all-original set. We'll be having a live video. We'll be playing with Antigone Rising. We'll be having T-shirt and CD giveaway. Yes. 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 So, so, so you, you know, preparing for the live video shoot, who, who's going to get the most nervous for that as far as? Oh, no, oh, no, no. None, no. Of, us. none of us. None of us? You're going to be we all We all fight for the camera. We right. fight for the mic. <laughs> right, right. 
I'll be but wearing black and buckskin. <laughs> <laughs> I could have guessed that. <laughs> and and I could safely say that this has been the uh, most most possibly the premier broadcast on on the uh, TV station here oh, for wow. a band because wow. I know for my show, but I haven't seen it up uh, broadcasting. So Sister Funk. Well, yeah, oh, there you go. Up, looking good, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Your head looks fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling good. Yeah. M- maybe before the uh, the show's out, we'll have all the ladies come by and, and oh, uh, say hello to the camera oh, if, if they shake want to. Our eggs. Yeah. Shake our eggs. <laughs> but uh, we'll quickly run down the other shows coming up. Sunday, February 16th at Meow Mix, and that's East House and Street in New York City. And, uh, the, 20, the 23rd? At 23rd. Is, is the, the, the 19th still on for the... Uh, yeah, that's not an open, yeah. open okay. performance. That's, that's more or less for us to get gigs. Okay. It's a showcase. Showcase, right? Yeah. All right, so February 23rd, t- Sunday tell night. it all over town, Sunday night at Toad's Place. And uh, it's a legendary place. The Rolling Stones have played there, Sheila E., oh. just so many. And, of course, Sister <laughs> Funk as that's well. That's right. Sister yeah. Grayson Days. And uh, oh. March, another university, the Women's Study Conference. Yeah, yeah. that will be March, March 8th. 8th at Southern Connecticut State. Is, is that just performing or do you talk at no, the No, we'll just be performing. Okay. It's a benefit for them. We're going to be doing um, you know, a benefit for them so that they can um, raise money for raise money the, for women's the, study. the Women's okay. Study. Okay. Yeah. See, that Fairfield, you need to yeah. jump on things like this. You know? And if they want yeah. us to play. That's right. Info at sisterfunk.com. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just did the, uh, the cancer um, benefit. Cancer up in Hartford, over 300,000 people. Park. Oh, wow. Park. Yeah, yeah, and they've coined us um, the band that cares because we have done so many um, right. benefits and charities. So we will come. We will play. And, and you're <laughs> available for private parties as band yeah, play as well? Yeah, yeah. Weddings, okay. dances, private parties, colleges, clubs. Okay. The belly dancing from Tina's extra though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> extra dollar. <laughs> the Tina's belly dance. And we'll also be right. at the Cafe Nine on March 14th, on March 14th in New Haven. Th- okay. So based out of New Haven is Sister Funk, and uh, Pursuit of the Groove is available for online ordering. Go to sisterfunk.com, cdbaby.com too? Yes. And, uh, and Colors in New Haven. Colors in New Haven. If it's not in your uh, record shop, independent record shop around town, you can... Uh, Tell them to contact Sister Funk and get it in the store there. So uh, thanks to come by. Thank I'll you. I'll reintroduce the band one more time. On drums and percussion, Amy Blaze, yeah. who's right around the corner there. Liberty Blaze. <laughs> Muppy. And on bass, the six-string Ibanez and vocals, yeah. Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> Mimi Dragon. Mimi Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and Denise, of course. Not today on keyboards, but bringing her great voice as well. But she'll be on keyboards at, at Toads and the other place. Denise, yes, thanks for coming by. Hey, everybody, Fairfield County. Glad that uh, to be here. Glad to be playing. And uh, it's awesome to have women in music. That's on right. Joe. Yeah, bravo for Woo! that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we should also say uh, thanks to Vance for coming by, bringing the acoustic Evangeline. guitar. Evangeline. Yeah. We have many names for you. Hey, my wife will like that. She's from Montreal, so yeah, there you go. So, uh, what what kind of acoustic guitar? Uh, This is a Tacoma Chief. It's made in um, Washington State, Tacoma. Okay, hence the name. (laughs) And it's a great little guitar. It it plugs in. It's got nice sustain. Um, Nice tone. Yeah, nice tone. I got it. A good friend of mine runs um, Sound Choice in Brantford. Really nice guy named Ken. And uh, you always get an excellent deal from him. Sound choice. Sound choice. And yeah. Ken and Branford. Branford, yeah. So thanks, Vance. And we can't Thank forget you. Tina, That's right. vocalist and saxophonist. How about, are your influences saxophone wise? Well, let me think. And, and what do you what do you play specifically on, on stage? Well, see, here's the. I'll, okay. I'll just get to the point. I play what looks good. Otherwise, I'd be playing a Selmer. But um, I've got an E.M. Winston and a Cannonball. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, they're pretty. <laughs> they are. It's all about accessorizing. Right. <laughs> um, but most of my uh, musical influence comes from uh, theater. Um, but on the horn, I would have to say Maceo Parker. Yeah. Or any Parker, for that matter. What about Candy? Yeah. Candy Dolphers. Wow. Yeah. Candy Dolphers yeah. awesome. I saw Maceo at the, uh, saw Prince in Montreal over the summer. and oh. talked with Maceo before. I ha- I've had his son on my show. And prior to him coming down on stage, we were talking in the 
in the lobby. Great guy. I yeah. love Sharp that man. Sharp dresser, too. Oh, yeah. I love that man. What, yeah. a, what a show, huh, Wendy? Right. Mm-hmm. In did fact, you did you see him at Toad's place? We saw him at the we saw him Western, in Western Theater. Oh, okay, yeah. Ooh. I've seen him at Toad's. Yeah. Pass the beat. Pass the beat. Pass the beat. They're ready for the JVs right there, right? Yeah. And uh, so so Sister Funk with one of those four hour shows one day that'd be nice. Oh yeah. 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 And Maceo, we we'll sing back up for you anytime. We'll honey. dance too, Maceo. <laughs> So thanks again, yes, thank you, Joe. Sister thank you, Joe. Funk, so much. and right. uh, we hope to have you here this summer. You know, yeah, yeah. maybe love put the stage back. back out there. We used to have a stage that we could uh, have concerts, but as you can see, they're having other activities. But oh, like yeah. study group. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. How unusual. <laughs> so we're broadcasting at Fairfield University, eighty-eight point five in Fairfield. This is the Upper Room with Joe Kelly concert series, and uh, this is Sister Funk. <laughs>